What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another episode of The Cage where today we're going over seven stupid things. Seven stupid things that you need as a filmmaker. Now they're not exciting, but you need them. Hence, they're kind of stupid, but you'll be super happy that you have them in your kit when the time comes. Let's roll that intro. Item number one, camera bag multi-tool. Now I'm not talking like a, a typical everyday multi-tool, like something like a Leatherman, more so a camera specific multi-tool like the Red Sidewinder, Small Rig also make a myriad, what a great word, of different camera tools that you can keep in your bag. This particular one, for instance, has pretty much every single driver bit that you would need to tighten down a tripod to undo different base plates. It's got Torx bits, it's got Allen wrenches. When you're on set, when you're shooting, having something like this in your bag at all times so you're not using your keys, ruining a knife, borrowing a coin from someone, because we've all been there. We've all been there when we need that one little item to get the job done and nobody has it. Also, on this little red one here, there's kind of like a thread hole guide on the side so you know what a quarter 20 is. You can also use the actual side plate of this to test those thread mounts to see if they're the accurate size, which is also helpful. Throw one of these in your bag, be it that it's this one or one of the others that I've linked below, life saver. That's item number one. Second stupid item, jaws clamps. These are actually pretty dope. It's kind of like a gorilla pod or like one of those GoPro accessories, but you've got a clamp on both ends. Now these separate. Ugh! They separate and you can make them really long, shorter, or put like a thread mount on the bottom of this so you can mount a light or anything to it. And that's exactly why these are super, super helpful. I feel like I'm about to jumpstart a car. Ugh! So, what could you use this for? This clamps to something, a light goes on this side, now you've got an adjustable light pretty much anywhere you go on the fly. You wanna set up some audio, you wanna boom a mic, you clamp this to a pole, bam, now you've got a boom mic in set. So there are literally infinite uses for something like this to keep in your kit. Clamp it to the tripod, have a monitor on it so the subject can see what they're doing. Clamp a pint glass or a cup to this thing so that you can shoot in front of the lens with a little bit of a glass refraction, kind of like a light hit coming in from the side. Absolutely invaluable. A dumb little thing that you would just not even think twice about, but could save the day in a pinch. Item number three bongo ties. Not only is that extremely fun to say, these are massively helpful. We've been rigging lights up into the ceiling of the studio upstairs. Having these to just keep those cables tidy, organize things, strap your gear together. Literally, these come in handy almost every single day. You grab a pack of these, you throw them in your bag, good to go. Very easy to take apart, very easy to put together. No reason you shouldn't own a pack of 10. Bam, bongo ties. It's just fun to say. Pause the video right now and just say bongo tie. You'll have a laugh, see? You just laughed, you're smirking at least. I know, I know these things. <music> Item number four, a gel pack. You need a gel pack. We're not talking about gel for your hair, we're talking about gels for your lights to properly white balance your scene or to get creative with the light in your scene, like what we're doing right now with the red light behind us. All we have is a little aperture light storm up above with a red gel on top of it to get that red casted light, which looks great. Now upstairs in the studio, my lights run hot. The Aperture 120D Mark II that I'm using is like a blue natural kind of daylight projection of light onto my face. The background looked super tungsten. It looked very, very orange and it just, I didn't like it. I would rather it look blue or white. I wanted to kind of swap the two. So I gelled the key light with a tungsten gel to give my skin that warm tone so the background actually ended up blue. So when you use these things, both with white balance to be able to tweak shots, fix shots, and get creative, invaluable. They come with lots of different flavors to choose from. They've got 12 by 12s, they've got like 24, you can cut them down, you can cut them to any size you want, and most lights these days have some kind of a magnetic clamp to let you just slap these on and bam, good to go. That's item number four. Hi there. 
figured we'd take a quick little break here and talk about our sponsor for today's video, none other than audible.com. It's a service I genuinely like and use. Right now I'm listening to a book called The Dichotomy of Leadership by Jocko Willink. It's that Navy SEAL dude that wakes up way too early every single day. Figured I could maybe learn a thing or two from him. On the waking up side, not the combat side. Best thing is, if you don't like the book, you can return it. If you do like the book, well, you can keep it forever. Till the end of time. Think about that one. Audible has the largest library, the largest library of audiobooks and audio entertainment. Bam! Just crushing it over there. So if you want to check it out for your free 30-day trial, hit the link below or text McKinnon to 500-500. Choose one audiobook and two Audible originals absolutely free. Nothing better than free. I'm telling you right now. Take it. Just take it. Links below. Back to the cage. Item number five, apple boxes. Not actual boxes that you might get from an orchard if you went to pick apples with your family. Mind you, those might work too. But in the film industry, apple boxes are an absolute staple. We have them here at the studio and we use them on a daily basis. So they come in different sizes. That's a quarter apple right there. Half apple. Full apple. If you need someone to be a little bit taller when they're standing beside you, you throw them on a half apple or a quarter apple or you just use an apple box to get something down or you use it to set your monitor on like I have mine set right now. Those types of things, absolutely invaluable to have. I keep saying that. That's the key word here, invaluable, because sometimes it comes between getting the shot and not being able to get the shot because you don't have the very basic tools that you need. And when you get using these and you start stepping on them and they get a patina going, oh man, makes me happy. The dirtier the apple boxes get, the better. Then you know things are happening. We're making moves. Apple boxes, look them up. Item number six is the Gorillapod. Now, I don't like Gorillapods for vlogging or those types of uses, not a fan. When you use the Gorillapod for something completely different, like holding a monitor so I can sit this down on the table, move it wherever I want with a nice long HDMI cable, that is so useful. Guys, I can't stress this enough. I used to clamp this monitor to the tripod and I'd, I'd always be leaning forward to try and adjust it every single day. We put it on a Gorillapod, flatten the legs out. Now that I can just sit on an Apple box, it can sit on a table, it can sit wherever I need it, and it is so helpful. Most of you out there probably already have Gorillapods. Try to think about a different way to use them instead of just vlogging with your camera. That's item number six, Gorillapod. All right, last item, number seven, stupid item for sure. Absolutely zero fun to purchase, 100% useful. That's a sandbag. You can buy these filled with sand. You can also buy them empty. Uh, one of the first ones I bought was empty and I went to a playground and filled it up with rocks and a bunch of nonsense. These impact sandbags are nice and heavy, but not too heavy that it's obnoxious. They're also double zipped, which is super helpful. So if this zipper ever comes undone, there's another one underneath to get to where the sand is. You don't want sand spilling anywhere near your gear. So you've got protection with this. You can counterbalance lights with this. You put this over top of a light stand, a C-stand arm, literally a sandbag. You can hold a door open with the sandbag. Lots of things you can do with this. They make the set safe as well. Better not to have a light fall over, come crashing down, not be counterbalanced properly. Throw a sandbag on it, you've got peace of mind. You are good to go. So that's it guys, that is seven stupid items that you need for filmmaking that will 100% make your life easier and make the shoot go smoother. Hit the like button if you like this video, smash it. If that's something that you're into, 2020 style. Subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.